Hey Math Kids, today we're going to do integration by substitution. And we'll just start right off with an example. Okay, they want us to integrate x cubed plus 2x under a square root, and then 3x squared plus 2x dx. Okay, now when we're doing things like this, we want to try to figure out which one is a derivative of the other one. Now if we look at this inside piece, we see that if we took the derivative of that inside, we would get this piece. So that's going to be a key to how we do this. Now before we take the derivative though, I'm going to rewrite this like this. Okay, now what we're going to do is a u substitution. So I'm going to say my original function is just the inside. So I'm going to say x cubed plus 2x. And then you take the derivative of whatever that is and call it du. And luckily, it ends up being that. So, um, whoops, and then dx. Okay. So we need to find this and replace it with du. So all of that becomes du. And then we need to find all of this and replace it with u. And then we still have that. Okay. Now we just go through the regular rules of antiderivatives, etc. And so we raise this by 1. Whoops, not that. So we raise this by 1, becomes 3 halves, divide by the new exponent or multiply by the reciprocal. <clears throat> okay, and then we have plus c right there. And then the final step is just replace u with the value for u, so 2 thirds like that. And then plus c, and that's everything. Okay, now we have x e to the 1 minus x squared dx. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do kind of like a preliminary u, because I'm guessing the u is this. So I do 1 minus x squared and then I take the derivative of that, and it's negative 2x. Now the problem is, there's no negative 2x. But there is an x, and so, um, whoops, there would be a dx on this too. Okay, there's no, there's no negative 2, but I can just put a negative 2 in there, but then I can also cancel it by doing a negative 1 half. Because if I multiply both of these purple numbers, it just becomes a 1, and so I really didn't change anything. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to find all of these pieces and call them du. So I have negative 2x and dx, and those become du in my next part. And then I have this thing, and so that becomes u. So I have e to the u, and then I still have this. I still have my negative one half. Okay. Now we just integrate e to the u just becomes e to the u. And I still have my negative one half out in front. And I have my plus c. Now the only thing I need to do is replace my u with my u value. And that is the final answer on that one. Okay. Now we do cosine cubed x and sine x. And they want us to integrate. So when they ask us to do that, we write in those two pieces. Okay. So 
really this one's going to come down to being either sine or cosine. And since I'm just going to take a guess, I'm just going to say that u is cosine. Because in these problems, it's typically the one that's in parentheses. Now, I know it doesn't look like it's in parentheses, but I could rewrite this like this. And that would be the same thing. Okay, so back to this. If I take the derivative of that, then that's going to be negative sine x dx. And so I need to find these pieces. Now, I don't quite have those pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a negative 1 here and a negative 1 here. Now, because negative 1 times negative 1 is just 1, so it doesn't change the value. So I have sine x dx, and I have a negative 1. So I take all of those. Those become my du. Now. I just need to find cosine, and that's my u. So that's u. Then I still have my 3, still have my integration sign, and I still have that negative 1 out in front. Okay? Now, if I'm doing, I just go through the uh, integration on this. So I get u to the fourth divided by 4, and then I still have that negative 1 and my plus c. Okay, if I uh, simplify this a little bit, <clears throat> it's just going to be negative 1 fourth times by u. u was cosine x to the fourth plus c. And then one more thing we could do is write it without parentheses like this. Okay, and that would be the final answer. Okay, um, I think there's only one more. Yeah, there's only one more. So we have cosine x over sine x. And they're asking us to integrate. So we add those pieces like that. Okay, now um, I'm just going to take a guess. I'm going to say u is sine. Um, the only other option really is cosine. Um, what I like about this is it's going to end up being 1 over x, and that's pretty easy to deal with, or 1 over u. And so I take the derivative of that. Derivative of sine is cosine. And so I need to find cosine and dx. Cosine, dx, and that becomes my du. Okay, my sine becomes my u, so it's 1 over u, and then I still have my integration sign. Okay, from there, we know that the antiderivative of 1 over u is natural log absolute value of u, and we say plus c. And then the last thing we need to do is just replace the u with the sine x. And that's our final answer. If you need additional help, please come to Math Lab. Until then, calculator.